Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right, fields 21 and fields 18 have been fertilizer spread. Uh, field 15 is done with cotton being put into it that hasn't started growing yet I've now those four boxes of fertilizer uh, not fertilizer lime that was sat over by the lime station for however many episodes <laughs> are now in here I haven't extended this normally when I do lime I extend it because it gets to the lime quite quickly I just thought with what I had on hand I'll do that first fields 13 and 14 here are going to be limed first then ploughed um, I've been on the blower to mercury unfortunately they can't help us out with the poplar bales so we are going to put poplar in here i think or possibly maybe 14. I mean, no, i need 10 poplar bales i'm not going to need that many to be honest with you i don't want to do this field's a fair size and it's just going to do this fair size. um so yeah what i'll probably do is um sort that out Yeah, we're going to get through this line fairly quickly, I think. Uh, and then what we're going to do, I need to exercise all the horses. They all need to be done before midnight, because they haven't had their exercise today. That will need to be done. Uh, and then what? Tomorrow morning, I think we're going to need to... Um, sort out the hay situation and get um, Cody's contract done so we can get some more cows in. What are we up to? 479,000. I do want to... I keep saying I want to get more sheep. I need to do that as well. Just keeping on top of all the contracts and remembering all the things I keep saying I'm going to do. It's going further than I thought it was going to, I'll be honest. Now again, I've got to be careful when I plough this because I kind of amended the side of the field by putting the track in. That actually goes right up to the edge. If I just put a cultivator on that, that would cultivate right across that. So I've got to be careful. I'm surprised how far this line is going. I don't think it's going to be enough to do field 14 as well, but... Not bad at all. Sorted. Awesome. Actually, what we'll do is turn up for a second. To do the two fields of cotton, they're already growing. I put narrows on this. Normally, in the first growth stage, you don't have to bother, but. This is one of the few tractors I've come across that when you put narrows on it, it actually looks quite cool. I mean, I think... Well, that's a personal opinion. I think it does. Normally they look really horrendous, but it looks right. Sorry, I just thought I'd point out. <laughs> one of those minor things, you know. Now, I do still have a few contracts and people that ask me to do work on their fields for them um, which I still haven't got round to and I'm hoping to at some point one contract was for a cover crop uh, one contract was for uh, what was it for well, mine's gone blank um, I think another one was for, for um, sugar beet I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that that's why I didn't do it on my fields because they specifically said they owned field whatever it was I think one was field 11 one was field 5 so I've got to, you know, yeah, we're nearly out of line. Okay, what I'll do is use what I've got. Let's fold that up. And I'll do a little bit on here. And then I'll go and refill. And then we'll do, uh, we'll go and get the, uh, the Neo Plow Cultivator Combo. And we'll do these. 
And then I think I'm going to have to start exercising the horses. What time is it now? 20 past 5, yeah, by about half 6, 7, it starts to get dark, so I'm going to run out of light. So some of this will need to be done overnight. And there's always that potential that by the morning, one of the, the one or two of the cotton fields may be ready to go, but right, we're out. Hold that. And some more line. Right, I'll see you in a little bit. Lyman will be done, and I think I'll be on to the uh, ploughing bit, and hopefully it won't be too dark, and then uh, get some horses exercised, I think. It'll be next. Right, Lyman's done. What trade are we on? It's hard to tell. Let's try and open something up and see which one opens. Right, that's the plough. Come way back, so now I need to press switch equipment, open up the rollers. And I've got to make sure I don't catch the bits. Oh, hang on. I'm going to bring that behind me, don't I? Let's go back to that. Why is it not doing anything? There we go. I'm going to try and get that directly behind if I can. Maybe there. That's a bit better. Right, okie dokie. What am I on at the moment? Let's lower something and see what happens. <laughs> lower implement, 20. That's the plow. Press it again. Lower implement, that's the roller. No, hang on. What is going on? Why are that? Switch implement. Love that. Oh, there we go. Whew. Right, I think we're there. Uh, what do we need to do? Go up to the edge. And away we go. Lights. A better idea. And this doesn't always like tight turns, so got to be a bit careful. And so this end of the field's all right because I went right to the field boundary, but the bottom end is where I, I put my own little track in. And if I'm not careful, I can plough all right over the top of that, so I've got to be... No, careful. <laughs> this is the only downside I've found to using this. I say the only downside. And it's weird, considering it comes as a pack, is that the plough here is a certain width, but the roller is actually wider, only by a little bit. So when you get the ploughing bit here, as you can see, then the cultivating bit cultivates wider. So you have to be careful that when you go back over the next bit, you really do need to almost overlap your ploughing. Otherwise you get like patches where it misses. I suppose adjusting this is what does that. How far to adjust it? Maybe a little bit further than that way. Take it a bit wider? Maybe. The 1050 has no problem pulling this at all. Skate on ice. Why has that disappeared off the line? Isn't that weird? Right, so this is where I need to be careful.
Okay, that's not too bad. Right, I don't want to plow over what I've already done. I can't see those symbols in the top corner. Where's the implement? Right, so I raise the plow up now. Cultivate the bit I need to cultivate. Where's that? I have to get that out of the way as well. Backing this up is not going to be much fun. Okay, drop it down. Drop it down. And there we go. Right, I'm going to carry on. Get both these fields done, and they're going to be ready then for whatever goes next. Like I said, I'm thinking poplars, but I'm not going to do poplars on both fields. Um, I really do only need 10 bales, and I don't want to... It seems pointless doing two massive... Well, not massive, two, two fields of poplars. And then finding that, you know, I use half a field, get my 10 bales, and I've still got to do all the rest just to clear the field. So, field management... I've got to really give it a bit of thought. It's unusual for me. Stop there in the tree. Lift that up. Another latest start to the day. Um, what was it? Eight twenty. I like my lines. Um, we are down to 467,000. We were on 479, um, but we had to pay our overnight, well, I say our overnight fee, the fee for the solar panels. We make half the money, half the money goes back to the energy company. Um, I need to sort out Cody's contract today, and we've got a, um, a wagon coming from um, KJ Wiggums. Um, if you remember, the contract for Cody was for, I want to say 30 hay bales. It was 10 straw, it was 25 or 30 hay bales, and two loads, two IT runner trailer loads of silage. So I think KJ Wiggins is going to be bringing the, um, the trailers for that. Um, we've had another full pallet overnight, which I've put in here. So we're up to six now of the 10 that are required for a contract, which is going to be coming up at some point soon um, I just need to make sure I feed I'm going to have to go around and turn the lights off actually where's the nearest? oh there we go let's feed Boom. done ok the cotton field is growing rather nicely it's not ready to harvest yet in Norse field 21 um, field 15 is a growth stage behind this but it's not looking too bad we will have a sea of cotton going off into the distance. Um, and the baked bean needs a bit of TLC. That's why it's in the little workshop. Um, the liming went really well. I'm only left with a tiny little bit there. I think about 300 litres or something. So as opposed to those four pallets I'd sitting there for quite a long time, that's actually worked out quite well. So let's do the work on this. Oh, whoa, it's not going to be cheap. 1,006. Needs doing it. It needs doing it. It needs doing. It's a workhorse. Um, right. I've cleaned out off screen the feed trough for the um, sheep and for the cows have been cleaned. So they're all good to go. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to lease. It's going to be a bit pricey. That's the only thing. Hmm. I've got a couple of options here. I've got my double mower thing here. I've got my front mower and my side mower. Now I did think about selling this and getting the, the double mower, so I have the triple mower set up. Um, but that triple mower is 40 something grand. I did think about leasing the Chrome Big M. That's about 20 grand to lease. But then to be fair, that's still cheaper than spending 40 something grand. I know I would own the mowers if I did it that way around. Um, I don't know what to do for the best here, really. How much are those? How much is the double mower? We've got the Nova Cat 301. If we get the X8, that's 42 grand. What if we sell. Where is it? 
If we sell our side mower, what will we get for that? 11. Okay, that brings it down to about 30 grand. That's a bit more palatable, actually. Anyway, whatever I decide to do with that, I'll be doing that later on. Um, so we need to sort this out now. I don't know if I need to move these, actually. Maybe. Let's jump in that. Start the engine. Take that in a little bit to about there. I'm not going to hook them up. I don't really need to. I think that's probably right about. There, we'll try that. Okay, so I'm just going to go and grab a cup of tea, and we'll wait on the uh, wait on the truck to come. Cool. Cool, it's here, driver's left it. So what we need to do, this is the 45,000 litre one I think, isn't it? Let's get some lights on, let's see what we're doing. I say that's just going to do what's on the belt isn't it um right so let's turn this one on so two loads we need to this <laughs> that's going to take a while Right, what do I need to do in the meantime? Let me have a think. Dogs fed, cotton I can't do anything with. Um, oh, I need to start sorting out because what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things of silage. We'll put those over with the um, straw bales to go off to Cody. I'll do the hay on field 19 in a little while. What we do need to do is um, poplars. We need to put poplars in field I think I'm going to do 13, I think. Or maybe 14. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. But let's go and lease it, shall we? While well, that's loading up, oh, mind you, is that going to do its thing where if you walk away from it, it turns off? Oh, it looks like there's still steam, steam rising from the silage. I do like that, it's a really nice feature. So I might need to readjust the belts, might I? So what I'll do is I'll do that first and then we'll sort out poplars. Um, what I can do though, get on the old tablet. Um, we want the Damken PL75 under forestry. I need to lease that. 1,300, let's lease that. And what we also need at the store, hopefully Silas can accommodate us is pallets and we need poplar there we go that's right isn't it yep now i'll do two pallets i think that could be too much but 
we'll see when we get there. I'm going to grab the Massey, which I think is still over at the forest. That's got some front forks on it, and we've got some pallet forks here. So what I can do then is have one of those pallets on the back of the dam con, one on the, the pallet forks, so I can take both pallets out with me. That's what I'll do. We are planting archery targets. I know there won't be archery targets yet, but they will be. They're still going away, isn't it? That will stutter at some point, but we've got plenty to keep us going. Yeah, we've got plenty to keep us going for TMR. Although one of the contracts, oh, whose contract was it? Someone offered me a contract. I will check that again. Um, and the payment was TMR. It might be the Archery Targets contract, actually. They offered me TMR, TMR as the payment, which will help. Um, I don't know where I'll store at the moment, but we'll see. Oh, that's actually not too far off. Go. So the leasing of the um IT runner trailers is being paid for by Cody that was part of the contract so what we'll do is if we put one here and then we'll, when we've got the um, hay bales done as well and um, we'll put these here as well and that'll be everything they need for that contract do hit that fence oh that was actually perfect disconnect that fantastic and to go off and get the other container then Off. Beacon's off. Cool. Okay, second load is done. That's full. The reason I wanted to do it in two separate ones because I mean realistically I could have. Blimey. Um, actually, that can all be adjusted now, can't it? I'll do that in a little while. Um, what I could have done was just had one uh, and then delivered it and then come back. But obviously that that leaves it open to a little bit of, you know, I could have been clever with the editing and just only ever done one and then just claimed the second one was delivered and then take it back again. So that's why I thought, you know what, we'll do two. That way we can show we have actually done two. And I've suddenly remembered, I said about getting poplars in the ground. Um, there was something I was going to do first, which I've just remembered. On that field, or both those fields, 13 and 14. So let's unload that. Switch vehicle, detach. Forward. And there we go. Right, Cody. So that's your 10 straw bales and your two IT runner containers. Uh, what we'll do, I think, let's pull this up here for the time being because we're going to need that for actual delivery, aren't we? Beacons off. Have I still got the hazard lights on? Yep. 
Turn the brakes off. Lights off. Engine off. Job done. Okay, well that's the first bit done. Yeah, muck spreading. I, I've got. We've got um, Sengstock's Organics has been there for ages, right next to the um, the store, and we haven't actually done any muck spreading. So I'm going to lease a muck spreader. And oh, actually, there is a muck spreader back for the IT runner, isn't there? No, I want to use one of the, the new ones. I haven't used them yet, have I? Or did I? I did one on Ravenport, didn't I? I remember now. Right, let's go over to the store. The mass is over there. I've collected the, the forks from here. Um, we were going to go and get the dam con. I was going to grab that and go over and start putting poppers in the ground. Then suddenly remembered, I've ploughed and cultivated field 13 and 14. There's no fertiliser on it. So, uh, you know what? Let's chuck some muck. Like I say, this has been here for a while. <laughs> I just haven't used it. I was holding out for the, the uh, slurry. I was hoping that the slurry emporium would come as well, but nothing yet. Uh, right, so we've got the Damcon. We did that on our tablet, and Silas has very kindly got us a couple of uh, <clears throat> poplar pallets out, which is great. One will go on the back of that, one will go on the forks on here, but I do want a muck spread first. The seed is over here ready for when we do seeding next, and as you can see, all the seed pallets that were here, we have used all of them now. Um, they're all gone, so from now on the seeds is going to be a kind of direct buy thing. Um, that surplus that Silas had in those early episodes has gone. What we need to do now is have a look through the brochure. We'll have a look and see what's available in the uh, muck chucking department. We could look at the online brochure, but let's look at the real one. So, muck spreaders. Uh, what do we want? manure spreaders I've used that one the Kuhn SLC 141 because that was a side spreader that's what I used on um, Ravenport so I'm thinking what does that require to pull it 180 I haven't used any Samson equipment yet in game so let's use that one what's the capacity 22,900 32 32 yeah I want to use something different Let's have a look at that. No options available other than that. Oh, that's interesting. Large wheel and a small wheel. It's rather fancy. 4,300. It's not going to be cheap, is it? But I suppose that said, if one thing a fertilizer would set me back. Is it 3,000, is it? Something like that. Oh, let's lease it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the cost is. I want to use it. This is going to be cool. That's that's such an interesting looking thing, isn't it? That's really odd. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, let's get it filled up. What I will do before we do anything else, get the lights on, let's get the forks dropped down. What I do like as well, using the side panel still, is that um, if I spin around to the front now, because I bought the forks that have got the open and close function, twisting the joystick, it's really cool. It's, you know, and I do like the fact as well now, because when you do it on the PlayStation controller, because you're moving multiple axes at the same time, if I go up and down on the forks, it keeps them level because I'm not actually adjusting the forks unless I go side to side. Whereas on the PlayStation controller, generally speaking, if you try and go up and down, you get some side movement on the controller. So that kind of keeps them all rather good. Right, let's go to that. Uh, disconnect those. I'm going to hit these boxes on there. So I'm a bit more careful. Look up. Let's back up first. Rear wheel steer. God, it's really fancy, isn't it? Ooh. I wonder how much it's going to cost to fill this up.
Okay. I panicked then. <laughs> but why is that not filling up? It's actually not too bad, is it? Mind you, we need more than one load, but. One thousand, that's not bad. So we'll do field fourteen first, I think. And then we'll see about field uh, I mean field thirteen is gonna need fertilizer. I'm thinking for the sake of actually getting the poplars in the ground. I don't know what adjustments can be made on this, we'll have to have a look at that. Very cool. We'll go straight across this field. I might have left the gate open. Yep. Oops. The 13 and 14 looking really nice now. All done, ploughed and cultivated, both of them. Gate open. Cool. I didn't even look to see what the spread was on this. We are about to find out. So, what should I set the cruise control on? Let's roll the cruise control back. No, we didn't mean to set it on back up right without pressing that dial down let's roll it back because I don't know what this actually works at what speed this works at so I'll set it at 10 and we'll see how we go from there so is it just a case you turn it on unfold it Ooh. oh yeah the gate of course otherwise it can't flow right Turn it on, cruise control on. Oh, that's got quite a wide spread. It's got a wider spread than I thought it would have. Oh, that's rather cool. Oh, I like this one. Something a bit different. Oh, so it's actually going, well, it's going at 11 because that's where I've got the cruise control set at. So can I go faster? Let's roll the cruise control up one. Hmm, 12 might be it, I think. Now we are getting to the uh, manual fairly quickly. We'll have to go back and get some more. It's not a massive field, to be honest, but... Let's stop there and turn it off. Actually, we might even get this field done. Right, if I go back a bit, we'll get cruise control on first. And then we'll turn it on as we go. Another reason why I like that side panel. What I can do, turn that off, spin it round, back on again. Cool. <laughs> New toys to use are always brilliant fun. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't take too long at all. Awesome. Let's 
So let's get cruise control on, turn that on, and away we go. Okay, right, let's close that up. Let's roll the cruise control up a bit. Someone did ask me in the comments why I'm not recording showing the side panel at the same time. When I made that video about it, my setup, in, because I play in my living room, I don't play at a desk, so my steering wheel pedals whatever I'm using the side panel I'm not right up next to the TV my PlayStation um, camera won't reach to where I'm sitting when I did that video I had to move everything right up in front of the TV to get that video to work so as far as a kind of standard day-to-day -day thing goes while I'm recording it just doesn't work um, but there's not an extension well, there might actually I'm trying to think whether or not I could get an extension cable that will make the PlayStation camera work at longer distance possibly because I think it's just an Ethernet connection so what I could do is potentially extend that out and then we'll see how we go right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do another load we'll grab it I'll go and do field 13 and then hopefully before the end of the episode we'll start getting some uh, some poplars in the ground I think we'll do that Oh, having never used the Samson Muck Spreader before, I like it. Check this up quick. I might get away with one more load. You know, this might be enough. Although Field 13 is a little bit bigger, so I mm, don't know. So what I'm going to do now is put this to one side because technically we've got it till midnight without incurring any extra leasing fees unless we use it and we get charged for it for whatever hourly rate we use and i'd like that and we might use it again we might even buy one it's brilliant disconnect okay so next job Lights didn't come on. I wonder. Oh no, I can't even see from there. <laughs> can't see at all. Right, let's drop that down just a little bit. So as long as it goes. Ah. Oh, I've got the short forks on, haven't I? By mistake. Oh dear. I'm sure it'll still go under, won't it? Yeah, we're right. We're okay, right. Tilt that back a little bit, bring it up a little bit. Oops. Now, were these the forks that had strap? No, they're not. So I think there's something else. I thought these ones had a strap as well.
definitely dreaming. So that, swing around a little bit, there are three, there we go, right, right, so I don't lose us off the front of the way down, actually I might lift that a little bit for going down this little slope here. Good call. Down a bit. Now, ordinarily, poplars now, especially like wood chipping them, you don't make a lot of money. Even doing wood chip bales, you don't make a huge amount of money. Um, would I do them as a crop? normally like generally no well, probably not but I think because I've got a contract and because it's for archery targets which I think is such a clever idea um, that's the point isn't it I'm doing it because I've got a contract to do it and that's the difference I think between playing normally when I just used to play just play um, to now doing subscriber contracts on one of my let's plays that that feeling of you know you're doing it for a reason would I normally do them? Probably not. I've got a contract to do them, so of course, that, I'm going to do that now. I've accepted that contract, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is run a strip up the middle, I think, try and get ourselves a baseline, and then go either side from there is probably the best bet. So, we are on that. If I press on my Satec 18, that will hire a worker. Fantastic. Now, um, doing the whole field would be a bit bonkers, I reckon, because I only need 10 pallets. And uh, to be fair, these two pallets I've got here. Two pallets, I say two pallets with 10 bales. 10 bales. Um, these two pallets here might do way more than this field. Or they might not. If I run out, I'll stop at these two pallets. I won't do any more than what this, these have got in them. That's probably the best bet. I think it's going to work out quite a lot of poplars, isn't it? Oh, I've put me in the wrong field. I was going to do them in field 14, wasn't I? That way, because they regrow, I thought they can be over there, they can regrow, and they, that, that could be my kind of poplar field out of the way. Oh, I'm up it. Oh, never mind. Hey ho! Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm thinking actually when the cotton harvest is ready to go, we're going to make a bit of money on cotton. I think that's probably the point where we can buy another field anyway. So we'll, we'll invest in another field so it won't matter. We'll have that one over there. That can be for doing small crop contract work. So if I get someone asking for, you know, a, a relatively small amount of something, that, that can use field 14 for that. This one will be my popular field for however many harvests I'll get out of it. Cool. So that's those two. I'm trying to think, what have we got done? Cotton's already go. That's 
growing. Oh, I do have all those logs, don't I, for um, Ray the Canadian. Um, they're all sitting on the floor, so I do need to get a, a trailer and get those loaded up. Um, and then we'll get on with the uh, the log cabin contract that I was given. I'm not building a log cabin, I'm providing the lumber for a log cabin. So I have moved on to the second pallet and I'm going to probably fill this field. I should fill this field with the second pallet. I'm not going to use all of it, um, but that will be the, this field done. Um, and we will leave it at that. I'm not going to do field 14. I will just do this field here um, and that will be it for poplars. And with that, we have come to the end of another episode. Um, as I always say at the end of every episode, loads more to come. And there really is. I've still got a ton of subscriber contracts to complete. So, um, yeah, bear with me. We will get through as many as we can. That is a promise. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>